All right, I'm Drew Stevens. I'm a software engineer at Genius.com, uh, and I'm going to talk today uh, about Moose, which is a, an object framework system for Perl. Um, if anyone has done Perl before, they have seen objects like this. Uh, they're a little bit ugly. Uh, so you define a package, which is what the name of the object is, what it is. Uh, you define a constructor, which is a lot of boilerplate stuff, um, a lot of silly stuff in order to set up the attributes for your object. Um, and then for each of those attributes, I've only done one of them here, you need an accessor. You can have these things that do both accessing uh, and getting, getting setting, everything. Um, and for anyone who's not a Perl programmer, they're thinking one thing about this object system. Uh, and that's right. Uh, it's old, it's been around forever, and it's pretty crappy. Um, so this is where Moose comes in. Um, Moose makes it a whole lot easier to do all that stuff. You don't have to do nearly as much boilerplate code. Uh, it does all those getter setters for you. Um, it, it'll give you things like uh, type enforcement for uh, attributes. So in Perl, we normally just have scalars, which are anything. Uh, but with Moose, you can define a type. Uh, so you can make them strings, uh, just like in more real object-oriented languages. Uh, you can do some crazy metaprogramming stuff. Uh, you can have read-only attributes, uh, almost real ones. Uh, and it's all wrapped up in a nice, pretty syntax. So when we want to make a horse in Moose, this is what it looks like. Uh, we've once again defined a package horse. Uh, we say use Moose, which makes it a Moose class. And then we simply define the attributes. Um, so you can see it's, it's uh, sort of the same thing. All we have are the name of the horse, the number of legs that the horse has. Uh, you can change the name of our horse, and the horse's name is a string. You cannot change the number of legs it has. We don't do amputation in this world. Um, and you don't have to tell the number of legs because we have a default there. So when you want to make a horse, it's as simple as that. You give it a name. That's just like any other Perl object. But the person who wrote that object had a much more fun time. Uh, and then you can use it just like any other Perl object. Uh, and notice we didn't, we didn't uh, have, to have to code any of those getters. They're given to us for free by Moose. Uh, Moose does a whole lot of other things. Nice. They once again make it make Perl work like a real object-oriented language. Uh, you can use abstract classes. Uh, so in this class, we have, we've uh, uh, taken out the stuff from the horse. Uh, put it into a generic type, animal. Uh, an animal has a name, it has a number of legs, and an animal makes a sound, uh, or has to have a sound method that is something that the sound makes when you say speak. And then we've done the speak method here in the abstract class. So when we create an inher inherited horse that inherits from animal, uh, you say use moose with animal. That's the way you say uh, that it extends the animal class. We simply define the sound method that we had required previously, and then when we do Ed speak, when we create Mr. Ed and do Ed speak, uh, it says Mr. Ed goes nay. Um, you can also uh, extend uh, methods from your parent class in a very interesting way. Um, uh, so we, it, we have a mouse here, and a uh, mouse is not very loud, so we want a stage direction that says, but you can barely hear the mouse when it goes squeak. So we tell it that it squeaks, and then we say, after the speak method is called, you should run this method that we defined right here, this little subroutine. Uh, so when you create a mouse there at the bottom, um, and you say, uh, mouse arrow speak, you get a mouse go squeak, but you can barely hear it. Uh, the final thing that, that I found interesting, Moose, is that you can do type coercion. Uh, so if we uh, want to add a birth date to our animals, uh, we can simply define a type here, a historical date time, because you can't be born in the future. Well, you can, but well, we don't know. Um, and then you can add the born attribute uh, to an animal by simply saying has born. Um, we make it read only. You can't change your birth date uh, unless you're a CIA agent or something. Uh, and you make that historical date time. Uh, you tell it to use the coercion, and it, and it uses the uh, via that's listed above. And so it uses the existing module date, date minip uh, and the parse date time from that, so that when we want to create many uh, animals, uh, we can create a horse named Newbie. Uh, we can say it was born yesterday, literally yesterday. Uh, we can also create Minnie Mouse, and uh, we can give her the birthday that she was first drawn. Uh, and they both have all the attributes that have been previously mentioned. Uh, so if you want to know more about Moose, uh, here are a whole bunch of references. Uh, that catalyze.org uh, blog post is a really good one. It gets you started with Moose, just like I've shown here. Uh, and if you're going to be doing Perl, definitely do it in Moose, because otherwise you end up with a broken leg.